history, new and superior aircraft have emerged approximately every 10 years. Now it's Dark Star's turn. The US's most lethal bomber fighter has proven itself in moments of service and is once again in service in Israel. But despite how powerful this bomber is, the US military has developed an aircraft superior to all existing fighter jets. It is an upgrade-based version of its multiple well-reputed predecessors and was developed with artificial intelligence. Its weapon can destroy any target effortlessly and is practically invincible on any radar worldwide. With the recent upgrades in this active US bomber, how powerful is it really? What makes the Dark Star more lethal than any other fighter in the US arsenal? Join us as we delve into the US's most powerful combat fighter spotted in Israel. The purpose of building Dark Star was not to attack enemies, but to show what it could do and highlight the advancements in US technology. It follows the tradition of previous planes that once seemed unbelievable, like the SR-71 Blackbird, which amazed everyone with its high speed of 2,200 miles per hour. Later, there was the F-117 fighter jet with groundbreaking stealth capabilities. Six years later, the B-2 bomber had an incredible variety of weapons and the ability to deliver them anywhere in the world. This next generation bomber has recently been spotted in Israel. The B-2 Spirit was made to perform important missions for the USAF by flying deep into enemy territory to drop bombs, including nuclear ones. Unlike previous bombers, the B-2 is a flying wing with no separate fuselage or tail. It combines advanced technologies that are hard to detect and efficient in the air. Its low observable features let it operate at high altitudes, increasing range and sensor capabilities. The USAF claims its range is about 6,000 nautical miles. For armaments, the B-2 was initially designed for nuclear strikes, but it can also carry conventional precision weapons. It has bomb bays for internal storage, reducing radar visibility. The B-2 can carry up to 40,000 pounds of ordnance. It has been upgraded to carry modern precision munitions like JDAMs and has various conventional weapons in its arsenal. The B-2 has advanced avionics systems, including radar, navigation, and communication. The radar has a low probability of intercepting, and the avionics are continually monitored for safety. The B-2 uses fly-by-wire controls to maintain stability. The flight controls are designed to make the aircraft less visible to radar. The B-2's stealth features make it hard to detect by reducing its radar, infrared, visual, and acoustic signatures. It can perform undetected missions even in heavily defended areas. The aircraft's engines are hidden inside its wings, reducing their thermal signature. The B-2 is painted with anti-reflective paint to minimize visibility during daylight flights. Its radar cross-section is about 0.1 square meters. The B-2 uses various materials to reduce radar reflection and absorb radar beams. Most aircraft are made of a strong, lightweight composite material. Despite how lethal the B-2 bomber is, the U.S. military force still needed a whole aircraft carrier strike in the past, but now you can achieve it with just one airplane. Information about Dark Star started circulating in 2007, and its development was officially confirmed in 2013. The interest in it was so massive that it caused aviation and space technology servers to crash. This excitement is because Dark Star is positioned as the successor to the legendary SR-71, which set numerous world records in its time. The SR-71 was a groundbreaking plane known as the Blackbird, which was built to fly at speeds exceeding Mach 3 with a two-person crew in tandem cockpits. The pilot occupied the front cockpit, while the reconnaissance systems officer managed surveillance systems and equipment from the rear cockpit, overseeing navigation on the mission flight path. In an early attempt at stealth design, the SR-71 aimed to minimize its radar cross-section. The finished aircraft was painted in a dark blue, almost black, color to enhance internal heat emission and serve as camouflage against the night sky, earning it the nickname Blackbird. Despite carrying radar countermeasures for interception evasion, the SR-71's main defense was its combination of high altitude and extreme speed, 
making it nearly invulnerable. The aircraft's low radar cross-section and rapid speed provided a minimal window for an enemy surface-to-air missile site to detect and track it on radar. When a SAM site could lock onto the SR-71, it often became too late to launch a missile, and the SR-71 would be out of range before the missile could catch up. Even if a SAM was fired in time, the SR-71's sustained speeds and maneuvers made it challenging for the missile to intercept. The SR-71's titanium structure constituted 85% of its composition, with additional sections made from polymer composite materials. To withstand the high temperatures generated during flight, the inboard wings featured corrugated skin, expanding vertically and horizontally while increasing longitudinal strength. Fuselage panels were intentionally loosely fitted on the ground, aligning as the airframe heated up in flight. The aircraft leaked JP-7 fuel on the ground before takeoff due to the lack of a fuel sealing system to handle extreme airframe expansion. The cockpit's outer windscreen was crafted from quartz and fused ultrasonically to the titanium frame. Temperatures on the exterior of the windscreen reached 600 degree Fahrenheit during missions, and cooling was achieved by cycling fuel behind the titanium surfaces. Landing presented additional challenges, with the canopy temperature exceeding 572 degree Fahrenheit. Red lines on the wing's upper surface indicated no step areas, including the trailing edge and the thin, delicate skin where the inner wing blended into the fuselage, supported by widely spaced structural ribs. BF manufactures the SR-71's unique tires. Goodrich contained aluminium and was filled with nitrogen. Priced at $2,300 each, they typically required replacement after around 20 missions. Landing at speeds over 170 knots, the Blackbird deployed a drag parachute to reduce landing roll, brake wear, and tire wear. The SR-71 was designed to be stealthy, taking inspiration from the Lockheed A-12. It incorporated features to make it less visible to radar. The radar cross-section measured how much radar signal it reflected, about 110 square feet. Engineers used studies in radar stealth technology to shape the aircraft with flattened, tapering sides that would deflect radar signals away. They added chines and angled the vertical control surfaces inward. The aircraft's skin also had special materials to absorb radar waves. They even used cesium-based additives in the fuel to make the exhaust plumes less visible to radar, although they were still somewhat noticeable. However, the Soviet Union's radar technology improved faster than the stealth technology used against it. At the front of each inlet was a movable inlet cone called a spike, which played a crucial role in managing airflow. The spike locked forward on the ground and during subsonic flight, moved inwards when the aircraft accelerated past Mach 1.6. This movement was directed by an analog air inlet computer, considering various factors like pitot-static system, pitch, roll, yaw, and angle of attack. The spike's adjustment controlled the shock wave and airflow, minimizing spillage drag and optimizing efficiency as the air transitioned from supersonic to subsonic in the diffuser. During the early years of operation, analog computers sometimes struggled to keep up with rapidly changing flight environmental inputs. Issues like inlet unstart could occur, where the shock wave blew out of the front of the inlet, causing engine trouble and asymmetrical thrust. This led to violent yawing and other challenges for the aircraft and its crew. To address this, an electronic control system was later installed to detect unstart conditions and perform necessary resets without pilot intervention. NASA's research also revealed that vortices from the nose chines entered the engine, affecting efficiency. A computer-controlled engine bypass system was introduced to counter this issue, improving overall efficiency. The Pratt and Whitney J-58 engines powered the SR-71, representing a significant innovation of its time. Capable of producing a static thrust of 32,500 pounds of force, these engines were most efficient around Mach 3.2, the typical cruising speed of the Blackbird. 
The engines used an afterburner that provided 26% of the thrust during takeoff, progressively increasing to 100% at approximately Mach 3. The air compression process, fuel addition, and exhaust flow through the afterburner affected the engine's performance. Unique startup procedures were employed for the J58 engines. Initially assisted by external combustion engines, the J58 engines were equipped with a quieter pneumatic start system. The SR-71's use of unconventional fuels, such as triethylborane for ignition and JP-7 for combustion, added to its distinctive characteristics. Regarding fuel, the SR-71 burned JP-7, a challenging to ignite jet fuel. Trethylborane was injected for engine ignition, producing a distinctive green flame. Despite common misconceptions, the SR-71 did not refuel shortly after takeoff due to fuel leakage. Rather, it refueled mid-flight primarily, because its maximum speeds were only achievable with aerial refueling. Aerial refueling was also essential for long-duration missions, as supersonic flights typically lasted at most 90 minutes before requiring refueling. The SR-71's astro-inertial navigation system, employing celestial observations for navigation, was a technological feat. The ANS used a star tracker to track various stars, continuously providing altitude and position data. This system enabled automatic navigation to preset destination points, controlled cameras and sensors, and contributed to the overall precision of the aircraft's flight. The SR-71 carried an array of sensors and payloads, including optical and infrared imagery systems, side-looking airborne radar, electronic intelligence gathering systems, and defensive systems for countering missiles and airborne threats. The aircraft's life support systems were designed to accommodate extreme high-altitude flight conditions, with crews using specialized pressurized suits and an emergency ejection system capable of handling Mach 3.2 ejections. Unfortunately, the SR-71, with its innovative design, advanced technologies and unparalleled performance, was retired, and in July 2017, decades after the retirement of the Blackbird, the Dark Star prototype had its first flight test. It quickly proved itself by setting a new speed record of 4,550 meters per hour, equal to six times the speed of sound. No other plane had ever shown such high speeds. Just five years after the release of the movie Top Gun Maverick, the Dark Star became known worldwide. In the movie, the main character flies this fighter jet. By the way, the plane's actual name is SR-72, but it got the nickname Dark Star from the movie. Some say that the U.S. government used the movie to reveal the new fighter jet to the world without giving public information about it. The plane shown in the movie is just a concept. It's more about giving people an idea of what it might look like. The real fighter is different, especially in terms of weapons. Despite believing that the Dark Star has the law system, Lockheed Martin confirmed that the plane has a much more powerful weapon. Since 2014, there have been tests on a combat laser, and its power has now doubled from 60 kilowatts. Lockheed Martin developed this system called Layered Laser Defense. With changing environments and threats, we're exploring laser-directed energy weapons, particularly on ships. The system, LL, uses spectral matching of fiber lasers. Laser emitters send rays through an optical fiber into the alignment device. This technology cuts energy consumption by 50%, making it suitable for fighter jets like Dark Star. Dark Star can use the laser to take down missiles, projectiles, drones, enemy aircraft, helicopters, and ships. For instance, an A120 ultra-high-speed missile can be destroyed in five seconds of beam exposure, and an aircraft engine can be taken out in about three seconds. We use the laser against targets we can't see visually, like in bad weather, smoke, or haze. Besides the laser, the SR-72 carries hypersonic missiles, cluster projectiles, and other lethal weapons. The full power of Dark Star's arsenal can be compared to Oppenheimer's testing nuclear bomb, allowing Dark Star to be armed with a nuclear bomb. 
the future of weapons may look very different. We're considering flexible payload bays with various missiles. The aircraft also has an invisibility mode. After a decade of testing, hyperstealth biotechnology created an absorbent cover for Dark Star based on existing stealth technology. The creators had to make a special material to change radar waves' direction and speed to achieve the desired result. This makes a reflective cover, and radars won't detect anything. So Dark Star becomes invisible to the military, allowing it to get close to enemies and launch surprise attacks with its big range of weapons. It has a backup plan. If it's spotted by radar, it uses a system that scatters radar signals, creating a huge interference and making it impossible to figure out the fighter's exact location. The SR-72 is the most advanced aircraft in history, with unique features in every part. Its engine works at super high speeds, using special hydrogen fuel mixed with oxygen, boosting power and efficiency. The plane's body has a special shape and is made of unique materials, able to handle extreme temperatures above 752 degree Fahrenheit, where the old Blackbird would fall apart. The fighter is controlled by both the pilot and artificial intelligence, which can take over complex tasks when the human pilot needs a break. Sure, there were cool planes before Dark Star, like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, but Dark Star outshines them in many ways. The F-35 has a top speed of 1180 meters per hour, and the F-22 is a bit faster at 1500 meters per hour, but Dark Star blows them away at 4,550 meter per hour. The F-35 uses too much gas and can only stay in the air for about an hour. Its maneuverability could be better. The size of planes matters because the bigger it is, the more weapons it can carry. The Lightning II is 52 feet long with a wingspan of 32 feet. The Raptor is a bit larger at 62 feet by 44 feet. Dark Star is even bigger at 72 feet by 52 feet and can carry much larger weapons. Its increased size allows it to have a laser system. Flying at the highest hypersonic speed, Dark Star can't be caught by enemy missiles. The AI on board can spot enemies in seconds and aim the laser system. We're exploring everything, from flight systems to battery technologies, using less hydraulics in the cockpit. Dark Star's power comes from the years of hard work by engineers who've tirelessly invented and installed new technologies, things we used to only see in movies. Each part of Dark Star is special and has unique features, making it better than the enemy. Engineers did their best to ensure the new fighter dominated the skies. Dark Star might have a weak opponent. The sixth generation NGAD fighter jet is the closest. It has laser weapons, powerful bombs, and similar stealth technology. But it's also being developed in the US, so they probably won't face off against each other. NGAD was born out of necessity, a realization that the enemy was becoming too powerful and threatening chaos worldwide. China had advanced supersonic aircraft with nuclear bombs, unmanned ships, and submarines along with sinister satellites ready to disrupt coastal defenses and warning systems. In response, the United States, known for innovation and determination, created NGAD. The fighter has a sleek design with advanced aerodynamics for top performance and stealth. Its impressive dimensions with a 45 feet wingspan and 68 feet length showcase its enormous capabilities, providing excellent lift and agility. The main weapons on the NGAD are six radar-guided missiles carried under the plane. It's considered a top-notch fighter, especially because of its laser weapons developed by Lockheed Martin. These lasers have a powerful punch with an output of 350 kilowatts and can hit targets precisely within a range of two miles. In tests, these lasers have successfully destroyed enemy drones, missiles, and other aircraft. With changing environments and threats, laser-directed energy weapons are becoming more important and used on ships. The NGAD is powered by the F-135 engine from Pratt & Whitney, which is revolutionary and surprisingly quiet. It produces 40,000 pounds of thrust, propelling the NGAD to a top speed of Mach 9. 
This engineering achievement comes from careful research and advancements in propulsion technology. The engine's low noise emissions also contribute to the fighter's ability to remain stealthy. The NGAD has an impressive range of 9,300 miles, allowing it to operate for long periods and protect the nation's interests. Besides its powerful laser weapons, the NGAD has a variety of conventional munitions in its arsenal. Its weapon bay can carry missiles, smart bombs, and precision-guided munitions. These weapons and the laser system help the NGAD maintain superiority in combat. Engineers are exploring various technologies, including flight systems and battery technologies, and using less hydraulics in the cockpit. Let's compare the NGAD with legendary planes like the SR-71 and F-22. The SR-71, famous for its speed of three times the speed of sound, can't match the incredible top speed of the NGAD. While the F-22 has impressive air-to-air -air missiles, the NGAD has an advantage with its laser weapons. The NGAD stands out for its advanced laser weaponry, pushing the limits of destructive power. Beyond its powerful weapons, the NGAD shows excellent coordination between its fighter jet abilities and cutting-edge laser weapons. Speed, maneuverability, and precision allow the NGAD to handle tough aerial situations easily. It's used for covert operations thanks to its sleek design, optimal performance, and smooth maneuvering at high speeds. The marvel of engineering lies in its efficient engine, crafted to minimize radar visibility. Advanced control units ensure precise handling and weapon control even during high-speed maneuvers. The NGAD, a technological marvel, moves through the skies, leaving amazement and destruction in its wake. The NGAD, on its way to becoming a legend, surpasses all expectations, making even the most legendary planes seem less impressive. It's not just about its incredible speed, its design, control units, and every aspect make it a threat from land, air, and sea. No enemy aircraft, naval vessels, or ground installations can escape the power of this technological giant. The real strength of the NG-8 is its capability to replace a whole army. That's correct. With unmatched speed, agility, and firepower, just one NG-8 fighter can equalize the situation, removing the necessity for big military actions. It follows the idea that having quality matters more than having a lot, as its abilities go beyond what an entire army can achieve together. We can only anticipate further advancements in the Dark Star and NGAD's arsenal as we look to the future. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click the link on your screen to check out more videos. See you there.